Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video we are reviewing the Surefire E2D Defender Ultra. This is a name brand tactical fighting flashlight. We're going to see if it's worth the hype and how it stacks up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality and design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's get right into it. Before I begin, if you love gadgets gear and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment to drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. First up is pricing, and this Surefire light will run you $200. Now this flashlight is made in the USA, has Surefire's warranty and reputation behind it. However, the higher price point might be a slight deterrent for some people who are interested in, considering how large the new flashlight market is. I do feel that you pay for the quality that you get, However, some people might be hesitant to slip this into their everyday carry because of that higher price point and worry that they're out $200 if it slides out of your pocket, which is why it scores a three out of five on pricing. Now in a tactical fighting light that you can use for everyday carry, what does $200 get you? And for that, let's find out with functionality and design. This light is specifically designed as a fighting flashlight to be able to identify a target and blast them with high amount of lumens to disorient them. It also has a crenulated bezel for striking and has a higher impact rating than other flashlights you find at a dollar store. It measures in at 5.6 inches overall and is comprised of aircraft grade aluminum. It's been mil-spec hard anodized to increase corrosion resistance and durability. Attached to this light is a dual direction pocket clip and crenulated bezel as well as a striking cap on the back. This light runs on two CR123A batteries and will output 1000 lumens with 10,600 candela. And candela is the measure of how intense a light beam is. This flashlight also has a low setting coming in at five lumens for identifying small items or even map reading without blowing out your night vision. On high, this will run for 2.7 hours and on the low setting, it'll run for 63 hours. This light is also capable of reaching out to 200 meters. With the batteries inserted, this flashlight weighs in at 4.2 ounces and is also IPX7 water rated. When first pressing down on the rubber tail switch, you're going to be met with a thousand lumens high and this has a little bit of an orange yellow tinge to it. Personally, I think this has an interesting shape to the light. It kind of reminds me of a flower petal where you can see the different rings coming into the focal point. Another thing to note is that when I press this light, I'm met with a large burst and then it slowly dims down and finds a settling point. Because this light won't accept larger 18650 batteries, the tube of the light fits perfectly in the hand, and I would recommend this to people with smaller to medium-sized hands, and they'll be able to get a perfect locked-off grip. I'm also a huge fan of the large crown towards the tail cap of the light. It certainly helps with accessing the light and deploying it, and having it not slip out of your hands in a stressful situation. Another pro of this light is that you can tail stand it to help illuminate a room. The interface is super simple. One click for on, two clicks for low, and you can also do half press on either setting for a momentary on. This scores a four out of five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. I have had no issues running Surefire's recommended CR123A batteries that they produce. I also tested out some Duracell and Energizer batteries, so if you're traveling and you need a refill, you can certainly pick some up on your way. I will note I did have some trouble testing out the Nightcore rechargeable CR123A batteries, and I'm sure Surefire recommends not putting those in there because it did brighten the output but lowered the amount of runtime. After those rechargeable batteries proved to be somewhat unreliable, I switched back to the Surefire and Duracell batteries, and I've had no issues since. I've had no issues with this being an impact device for self-defense or testing it on harder targets because after all it is a tactical light designed for self-defense. Now it also has Surefire's name brand recognition for being tough and reliable and I certainly find this to be true which is why it scores a 5 out of 5 on dependability. All right next up is versatility. Although this flashlight runs on small batteries and has less lumens it can still outshine some other lights because that higher candela rating it gives it a very intense beam. I've also found that that 5 lumen low setting is a perfect amount of lumens for everyday carry tasks I've had no issues with that setting at all. I do really like the user interface on this as being simple as possible, high and low, no switching or fumbling through different modes. It's just light when you need it. Lastly, the body of this flashlight makes an excellent self-defense tool and it also will rip and tear if placed onto the skin. Both ends of this flashlight are perfect for an understrike or an overstrike and it makes an excellent weapon for non-permissive environments or when tools are not readily accessible. This light excels at a variety of different tasks from tactical to everyday carry, going out on a run or even hiking in the woods, which is why this scores a five out of five on versatility. All right, last up is carryability. I feel that this light rides at the perfect height to be able to quickly access it from the pocket without it sticking out and protruding too much. However, I have had a few issues with the pocket clip. If you're not wearing thick pants, this light can easily slide out because it doesn't have a very high retention rate. Furthermore, that pocket clip is built into the design of the flashlight and is not removable. I think a big improvement for this flashlight would be to have a removable pocket clip because if you bend this out or it snaps off, 
you're out of luck. I will say I do enjoy the dual use feature of the pocket clip, being able to slide it over the brim of a hat to create an impromptu headlight. Now on some pants, I did find I needed more traction because again, that lack of retention on the pocket clip. You can see here where I enhanced the pocket clip using a Ranger band in order to ensure that it stayed in my pants because after all, this is a $200 flashlight. You do not want slipping out of your pockets. That being said, it provides a lot of illumination for how slim and compact it is. It stays in your hand and is overall very easy to carry. I also love that additional feature of being able to use it as a headlamp, which is why it scores a three out of five on carryability. The Surefire E2D Defender Ultra is slim, dependable, and makes a formidable striking tool for self-defense, which is why it scores an overall total of 20 out of 25. It is an 80% pass on the Tactical Tavern test. Ultimately though, you get that great reliability, amazing warranty, and some seriously bright lumens with a great impact tool for non-permissive environments. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this review and you found value from it, drop a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, take a moment to follow us on Instagram at Tactical Tavern to get a behind the scenes look at new gear, the testing process, and videos you won't find here. With that being said, my name is Tomas Salas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.